Rangers 30 meters Max Faulkner, TNS Texas Rangers starting pitcher Cole Hamels 35 throws the first pitch as the Rangers play the Padres at Globe Life Park Monday June 25, 2018 in Arlington, Texas. Max Faulkner, Fort Worth Star Telegram, TNS by Jerry Fraley, staff writer at GIF Rally ARLN GTON, a trade of left-hander Cole Hamels would help both parties involved. Hamels would land with the contender. The Rangers would get a package of needed young talent for their player development system. The Rangers need more help from Hamels to make this happen. Hamels did nothing to help his market value by lasting only five innings in a 7-4 victory against lowly San Diego on Monday at Globe Life Park. Hamels departed with the Rangers trailing 4-1, the Rangers responded with their 11th comeback win from a multi-run deficit in the last 30 games. He did that only three times in the first 50 games. The Rangers did lose two players. First baseman Ronald Guzman came out during the five-run sixth inning after taking a knee to the head diving back into third. Guzman went into the Major League Baseball concussion protocol. Right fielder Nomer Mazzara was removed when he came up limping after reaching on an infield single in the eighth. The noteworthy point from Hamill's performance is that he grabbed the Major League lead in homers allowed with 20 in only 97 and a third innings. Hamels gave up four runs on two homers. Only two Rangers have ever led the majors in homers allowed. Hall of Famer Ferguson Jenkins did it in 1975, with 37 homers. Rick Helling, a yeoman performer, did it twice. He allowed a club record 41 homers in 1999 and 38 in 2001, creating market demand for the leader in homers allowed is not easy. In Century, one pitcher who led the majors in homers was traded during the season. James Shields went from San Diego to the Chicago White Sox in June, 2016. Shields went 4-12 with a 6.77 era for the White Sox. Hamels allowed multiple homers for the eighth time this season. He also leads the majors in the category. At this pace, Hamels will rocket past his career high for homers allowed 28 in 227 and a third innings with Philadelphia in 2008. This is uncharacteristic for Hamels. He began this season with a homers per nine innings rate of 1.01. His rate for the season is at 1.85, fourth highest among major league qualifiers. Hamels gave up a three-run homer on a cutter to Manuel Margo in the fifth inning and a shot by Jose Perela on a changeup to start the sixth. The frustrating point for Hamels is those have been his two best pitches this season. According to BrooksBaseball.net, Margo's homer was the first Hamels has given up on a cutter this season. At the start of play, opponents were hitting only .183 against the changeup. This series matches the major league leaders in strikeouts on offense. The Rangers had eight whiffs and lead the majors with 762, three more than the Padres. The Rangers gradually have been cutting down their strikeouts total. They have gone from a 26.5% rate, tops in the majors, in May to 23.2% this month. At the same time, their walks rate has skyrocketed. It has gone from 8.5% in the opening month to 9.2 in May to 12.0, highest in the majors, for June, we're making good progress, manager Jeff Bannister said. You look at the walks rate. Hope that we keep that up but that pace has really been exceeding the expectations, the rate of decreasing the strikeouts, that's probably more of a normal rate based on where we were at. As long as we're making progress in both directions, in the five-run six, the Rangers put the ball in play when the situation demanded. Delino Dashields, Shinsu Chu and Elvis Andres each batted with a runner at third and fewer than two outs. Each produced a run, 